Howdy guys, I am going to show you how to practice using the gizmo. All right, remember you wanna go in through your class link, you're gonna click on gizmos. For some of you new kiddos, this may be your first time using this. Um, everybody else, you should have done this before. You will click on your, on whatever uh, class you guys have. Um, and then you are going to work on the cell types. So once you get in there, find cell types. If for some reason, if you're a new student and you've never used this and you do not have access to gizmos or not in a classroom, please email me. So once you click on it, um, you're going to click launch gizmo. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to bring up your gizmo. And I always like to make mine full screen just so I can see everything. When you get on here, click on show samples. That will help you see all of the things that you can test on the microscope or look at on the microscope. If you do not have the show samples, it might, it'll, it, it, it will kind of show up, but it's like a guessing game. So I like to click on show sam samples. I don't care what you look at. You can look at them all. You can look at two. You can look at one, but you need to try this out. So I'm going to go, um, let's see here. Ooh, what do I want to look at? Okay. I'm going to go with frog blood for all that. I feel like that's like a Harry Potter thing. So I'm going to click on frog blood. Now with this, it'll show you kind of what we're looking at. But up here, these three tabs are really what you want to um, do. Um, I'm going to ignore this test for life until we get in class, but this is what I want you to work on, the microscope. Now, you should have been learning the parts of the microscope. You should have learned um, through the Edpuzzle kind of how to use it. You always start with the course adjustment, and as you can see, our magnification is a little bit higher than what we are used to. So you will start with the course focus. So always start it at the 80, um, 80 times. And then you're going to start moving this back. And if you look at the left, you will see that the stage is moving. And what you want to do is you want to try to get it as clear as your eyes will let it. Then to get it even closer, you're going to click on the 160. Then you are going to start doing the fine focus. Ooh, that looks, oh, nope, there we go. And then for the 400, oh my gosh, there you go. You can, I don't know if you can get it any closer, but you can move your stage and you can move it up and down to see what's all around, okay? So once you get a nice clear picture, you can click on show labels. Um, you can click show scale bars, but it doesn't really mean anything yet to you. So we'll talk about that in class. So. Um, but the show labels is really important here because you're going to see all of the parts of the blood cells. So you'll see that we have a white blood cell and a red blood cell. Um, you should recognize some of those things. If you want to click on the cell membrane, it will tell you what its job is. Okay. Um, and if you cannot read some of it, just move and you'll be able to see it. Um, over here, click on show information. This is really cool because this explains what the red blood cells do and what the white blood cells do. Want to do a different one? Go back to landscape, choose another one. Let's try the fly muscle. Ew, gross. But then you're going to click on microscope. Same thing. As you can see, our magnifications are a little different. Start on the low end. Do your course focus first. Ooh. Then you're going to do the 100, and then you can do the fine focus. If you want to try the course focus, go ahead. But it does, at, once you do the force, the, the, sorry, course focus, but you want to get it as sharp as possible. Oh, there. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then 400. And see, because I have the show labels, it's still already there, too. Um, and then I click on the show information, and everything's there. Um, you don't have to do anything with this except learn how to um, manipulate the magnifications and get your microscope in focus. Have fun. Check out the mouse skin. Ooh. And then you can see the neurons. And we will do more with this in class, but it would really help me and Miss Weber if you come to class knowing how to use the gizmo. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.